YouTube channel, you're here with me, Sinead, aka Sin City. So I am in Miami, guys. In case you couldn't tell by the opening and the beautiful scenery and the beautiful weather in September, I'm clearly not in London. I'm currently vacating at the minute in Miami. So this is my first time here being here. I sound uh, a little bit croaky. I know the night before my flight this desire to happen. I don't know where it came from. I don't know if it's a cold, if it's allergies. I don't really know what it is, but I'm hoping it doesn't stay very long. And if it does, then please bear with me because as these videos progress, my voice is probably gonna be going more and more. I'm hoping it's just because of last night and it's like a 24 hour thing and obviously from flying that it will eventually go away. Because I feel like I sound a little bit horrible. So please ignore all of that. But yes, I'm currently in the apartment which I will give you a tour of. I'm waiting for my roomie, so I'm not waiting to see her because it's been literally like a little while since I've seen her. And basically we're gonna be staying here for the next nine days. So join me and her on our journey of basically exploring Miami, finding out what the city has to offer in terms of the nightlife, day life, beach life, turn up life, food life every kind of life that you can possibly think of. I will be trying to film as much as I can for you guys. I'm just super, super excited. I just cannot wait. Like, I cannot wait. The weather is amazing. I've not been here that long. I literally got here maybe like a couple of hours ago. My flight lands at like 3.30 and then I probably got here about like 4.35. Pretty much it, like, I'm just super excited. I could not even tell, like, can't even tell you. Like, I can't even speak. That's how excited I am. And maybe because I'm tired, but yeah. brunch um which bottomless is mimosas. bottomless mimosas which is basically like win winwood winwood yeah. um so we're literally gonna make our way down now we're all ready it took us like well it took me forever and a day because <laughs> it always does but sierra poor sierra has been literally waiting for me for a little while so we're gonna make our way there um yesterday i didn't really do any filming we literally just didn't really do much we just went to the grocery store went and stocked up on like water fruit juice alcohol got like the biggest fattest bottles of pink moscato ever which we're super happy about um yeah we're gonna make our way to brunch and then after brunch we're pretty much gonna go to um, south beach and then check out the beach so we're all ready um i'm basically wearing the pretty little thing gray maxi dress that i did in my recent shopping haul and then i've got a little cute um pack pack that's pink so i'll try and film as much as i can when we're at for nation brunch um so you guys can see what it's like I'm a little bit tipsy, so just don't mind what I'm saying because it probably isn't all that great. But yeah, so there's just so much. Look how pretty it is. Ah! Oh, this is cool. Hi. Hey. So 
So if you want to get access to the wall, the car park, is that around the back? Yeah. yeah. Uh, no, it's straight, keep walking straight. It's cute in here though, I love it. No. Well, what do you want to do? I don't know. It's up to you. What do you want to do? I can't even lie. The pies look so cute, though. I feel like I want to try an actual pie. But I don't know what pie I want to try. I feel like pistachio, cookies and cream, churros, rocky rose. So Maybe even birthday cake. Birth birthday cake because it's your birthday not long ago, girl. Like, like two weeks ago. <laughs> this is like a late, late birthday. Like, babe, you celebrate your whole birthday for a whole month. It's yeah, fine. Yeah. That's that's how we live in this life. Okay, so should we try two of them or do you just want one? Um, don't be shy. Bye. Bye. Oh my gosh, you put a birthday candle. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh, that's so cute. So cute. Thank you, honey. Thank, Sierra basically decided to um, go in because her feet were hurting a little bit. But I wanted to venture to the end of the road because I could see that we could see like water and I wanted to know like what it was because basically if you go this way, you can see South Beach. I just wanted to see what it looked like basically and what the views were saying. And this is basically what it looks like. It's kind of crazy. Now I've seen what's down here, I now know. And it was basically just me wanting to know what was down there. Um, but we're literally gonna basically head back home or I'm heading back home. I have a little bit of a nap, just cause day drinking in the sun. Guys, it is a lot, I'm sorry. This Florida fucking weather, it's crazy. Um, I think it's like 33 now. And um, see where we go from there. We're gonna probably go out tonight. I basically met like so many people in Miami. Like I'm gonna be real, Miami people were really nice. Really nice, really friendly. Everyone's social butterfly here. So I've literally made so many IG friends. Um, people give me recommendations of where to go to eat, what to do in terms of clubs, um, in terms of places to eat, in terms of places to like things to do and see. So I've got a little list. So we're gonna basically see what the list is saying and then basically decide what we're gonna do for tonight. We're kind of thinking maybe dinner and drinks, um, but we're not sure where, so. Okay.
Avenue toward 17th Street. Turn right onto 17th Street. Um. I was just gonna soak in the sun. somewhat dying because um we've gone non-stop you can probably hear that my voice is going but yeah we've been like non-stop since we've come like going out in the day day, day drinking and then going out in the evening and clubbing and raving and stuff so and also like being on different time zones and having not yet really fully adjusted fully adjusted oh, so um <laughs> look at her trying to moan because she has to get up to let me in <laughs> But I've, woo, I thought that I would um, basically show you guys the pool area just because we're going to chill here today. So this is what's happening. So the weather's nice. And yesterday was pretty fun. Like a few things yesterday. So we went to the beach, as you guys have probably already seen, and chilled there for most of the day. And then had a really good recommendation for an amazing Cuban food place so we went there which was basically on like 7th street um which is really really nice um ended up bringing some of the food home with us because we were like so tipsy from day drinking in the sun and on the beach and stuff that we were like hot damn can't finish all of these and then from there basically got some met some promoter on the beach and so then got into um studio 23 where trina was performing been there for a little while and that club was interesting very much like a sit down kind of table vibe of a club leaving there maybe around two after getting there for like around 12 and then went to club live where we pretty much lived life and then didn't end up getting home until like six in the morning we like died and um, we went and got some food though before coming back home after that pretty much cocktail and then basically only had like what four hours for four and a half hours sleep or something like that and then basically we've just been chilling today so this is pretty much what we're doing and how it's been in the day Hi.
Okay, so I'm in love with these pink bad boys. And I think I need to wear any sunglasses because mine just broke. <laughs> this is so me. So now we're at the um, Linacum Mall Road. Hi. Thank you. It's like one of those shops, are loads of restaurants. Oh, that's cute. I like the blue one. Um, yeah, loads of restaurants, loads of shops and stuff. And no cars and things come down here. It's pretty cute. It's really, really nice. It's just so hot. It's so hot. You got it with me. Now trying to get some food because. It's super hot, we still sweat it out, and then we basically heard some reviews about this sushi place, so we're gonna give it a try. I think it's called Tayo, Tayo Sushi. Yeah, we're gonna give it a try and see what it's saying. Mm -hmm. 
was three there. Nothing. I think. I think there's more walls, but I don't know if there's um like back that way, but there was a barrier, so I don't know if it's open or okay. Is that like a little restaurant now? Like place a little while ago, and it's got like different like food trucks and things and like vendors. So we thought we took the opportunity to come in and have a look at it. But I think we might be here a little bit early. I think we're still setting up. Hey. Hey. Oh, thank you. We're gonna water. We're gonna pull. Okay. Mm, nice. Thank you. Is this whole thing open? Uh, yeah, I think it's open. That goes on burgers. Where's barbecue? Ooh, that's just... Oh, I thought I saw Nutella. Oh, uh, yeah, I, I thought, I guess yeah. I saw Venezuela. <laughs> <laughs> So I don't really know where I've left off in my vlog. Um, I'm basically on my last night in Miami. Um, so my friend that was with me, she's basically gone home now. Um, her flight was early this afternoon. She left around 3.30, I believe. It's, I'm not even too sure of the time. Yeah, it was 7.30. So um, I literally just got out of the shower, washed my hair. I'll explain why washing my hair was needed because I wasn't planning to do that until I came back home, to be fair. Let me explain that actually in like another video, like a get ready with me. So maybe tomorrow, while I'm getting ready to get out of the house, I'll explain the story of why I have had to wash my hair and why this is, you see me like this now. But um, in filling you guys in on a little bit what I've been up to and where I've gone. So in total, I love Miami. Miami's been a great experience, done so much, lived non-stop, cannot lie. And I've seen so much in terms of like the day scene. Um, and then also doing like the whole entertainment. So, you know, going out in the clubs, day drinking, going to bars, all that kind of stuff. So I've done like the touristy stuff as well as the let's turn up all the time, 100% always kind of stuff too. And I love it. Like I literally, literally love it so much. Like LA was a great experience and I love LA. LA truly was my first love, but in coming to Miami, I think Miami's now pushed LA out the way a little bit. Um, they're so different, but at the same time, people think they're very much similar. But like, I just love Miami. <laughs> I can't even lie, I really, really do. Basically, what we've kind of been doing in the evenings is we've hit up some clubs such as Story, um, which Sweetie and Quavo were at. Sweetie was performing, and she came on, she rocked the stage, she did amazing. She performed um, My Type, and she had the whole club like going crazy. And where basically we were located had a really good view and really good sitting. Um, so if you want to check that out, then go to my Instagram because it will be on a Miami highlight. I've been watching obviously whilst I've been away, then you would have seen that Sweetie was there on Thursday. Um, I also saw Plies who was at Live. That was super crazy because the cover fee, which is basically the entry free fee, sorry, to get into the club is $100. I know. <laughs> a hundred dollars to get into the club but they pretty much always have people performing like live there um like most clubs do but it's just a hundred dollars to get into that club no matter what the night no matter what the day no matter what the time it's one of those ones where if you've known someone on a guest list you can get in i think maybe cheaper or for free if maybe you're a girl i don't really know because we actually managed to get in but we got in because people were staying at the hotel um, and that's how we managed to get into the club. So we didn't have to pay the cover fee and we didn't know a promoter to get into the club. The story, we knew a promoter to get into the club and we had like a table and we had great seats. So we got to really see Sweetie perform. Um, trying to think of where else we went. Went to the wall um, nightclub, which is basically at the W. It's really good, they played really good music, had a great time there. Again, was on a table, it was amazing. Studio 23. So Studio 23, we got on a guest list. Um, it's kind of like a tabled club, so you have to be on a table. Uh, well, you don't have to be on the table, but like they have quite a lot of tables in there and not really so much like dance floor space. 
Um, it's kind of like bar, then tables, and then in the in-between spacing is where people dance. Um, and I kind of don't like that club so much for that reason, because it's one of those ones where you're on a table, so you sit down and you dance, and then you just, there's not that much space, depending on how much people are on the table. So we ended up leaving there and going to live, um, which we had a really good time at. And I think that might be all the clubs that we might have gone to. We did do bars and things like that, and obviously I drank at like food places and restaurants, um, but that might have been it. I'm basically going over stuff that you guys have seen, but I'm just trying to like remember what I've done. Um, last thing that I've done, which is basically a little surprise for tomorrow, because I will do a get ready with me and give you a story time as to why basically my hair needs to be, had to be washed um, whilst on holiday. I hope you've enjoyed this vlog of Miami and basically traveling with me. I've had a great time. Um, I hope you've enjoyed watching. Honestly, let me know if you have any particular areas that you liked or if you have any questions about what to do in Miami. Please drop me any comments below. And yeah, I look forward to seeing you in my next travel vlog.